Good morning. What is up? So I've got a whole bunch of running around to do today. Little things here and there. A bunch of emails to send. Also, hmm. also my truck's making a weird noise. I think it's something to do with the rear brakes, drum brakes. Nothing too concerning, but it's just really annoying and I don't like when my vehicles make strange noises when you're driving. So I'm going to check that out. I don't know if I'll do that today, but I just noticed it a couple days ago or yesterday when I was filming and all that. So i got to look into that. Um, there's also a bunch of little things I have to do to my truck and they're just getting pushed off and maybe I'll get to them this weekend or tomorrow. I don't know. But that's what's going to happen today, I guess. Let's go. Oh man, oh, it's dark already, how that happen? Well, that was a long day. been working on a few of my projects, actually a whole bunch of different ones over today. I know I've talked about them a lot, well I've mentioned them a lot, I haven't talked about them. Um, so there's a number of different projects I'm talking about when I say that. There's uh, my school project, which uh, is going pretty well. I'm working on some electronics right now and developing that. And then I have a few projects that are what I would consider part of the business that I do, which is kind of like robotics and development. So I help, I've helped some companies develop cool little projects and things like that, but I've also developed my own uh, robot and some other things. And then there's things that aren't really business related, things that aren't necessarily going to make me money. And what do I mean by that? Well, well, first of all, all of my projects are open source, but I'm also working on some things that are just going to hopefully better people's lives and uh, a couple of those are in the field of the medical industry so where am I going with this first let's talk about what open source means basically these electronics these circuit boards or if any kind of little 3d printable things that I design people are able to download them off the internet and modify, change them, and make their own at no cost to me, like, they don't owe me any money for doing that. The benefit of this is that you're allowing a larger community to look at your projects and maybe approve, improve upon them. And sure, in one aspect it's good to keep all of your, like I have some projects that I haven't spoken about yet just because I think it'd be really cool to just come out with something that's working and even then like I'll probably make it open source. So with the open source nature of my projects, it means that people don't have to buy them off me. They can make their own and I really like that idea. And I also have this weird thought about knowledge and learning and things like that. This is my thinking on intellectual property, knowledge, education, really anything to do with the control of information. If we're able to make all of the information in the world available to everyone, that can only benefit us. It'll force us to be more innovative, more inventive, more creative, just to stand out. With my open source projects, this is kind of my thinking. I don't want any of the information that I obtain to be secretive. 
I want people to take my ideas and expand on them. There's too many systems in our society right now that are completely reliant on how much money they make. There's our medical industry, our food industry. They make scientific decisions based on what's going to get them the most money. And after discovering this, well, I think everyone knows that, but I realized that the skills that I have, the electronics, the design, the hopefully the creativity, that maybe I can change some of these things. Maybe I can invent these systems that are going to be less expensive for consumers and will fight big industries like the medical industry. And that's where I'm kind of going with this, is some of the things that I'm developing right now are medical devices, which are going to be open source. And I think this is a really interesting area of development to be in. Because there aren't many open source medical devices. Everything is closed. You don't know what they're doing. You don't know what studies are saying. You don't know what they're shelving. And you don't know what information they're hiding. I know I kind of sound like a conspiracy theorist, but they can choose to pick the best means for them. They can choose the medicine that makes them the most money. That's just business. Seems crazy, but it is business. I guess the point that I'm trying to get across is that we shouldn't just accept the way things are if they're not right. If we can change something, or we can see a way to change something, then we should try and do it. I mean, what else is the point? We can't just accept these things. So by my small projects, it's something that I saw from first-hand experience that I felt I could make a difference. And because of that, I am passionate about doing these things. I'm passionate about these projects. And the passion is what's going to keep me going on them, keep the drive going. And I guess that's all I want to say for tonight. Bit of a rant, but get these every so often. Things on the brain. So, with that, good night. Be good.